Hey everybody, I'm Captain Eddie Castorn. This is my fat little kid. See this little kid? And she's something else. She's only supposed to weigh about half of this, but she competes with those underpound max big labs on their dog food and she kind of got a little overgrown. Don't worry, I won't go hugging and kissing her. She'll come back for that in a little bit. Ah. But hey, since I got you here and we're just talking, what I need you to do is subscribe. And you go right here and press. They moved it. Now let's over. Well, it's a thing that's called subscribe. And if you click on that and you input your email, they'll send you a notice when I got new videos coming out. That's right. Now, you don't have to pay them. What you really should do is fold your money into small chunks. Put them all together. Put them in an envelope and send them to me. They'll be totally safe. And I guarantee you I'll only buy wood and tools and travel. Well, I, I, I'll take care of it for you. Okay? Now, we're getting together. We've got a few things to talk about. We're going to get back to this on a regular series type thing. You see what I got? The series series type thing? All right. But you know what you got to do if we want to do this thing right? Yeah, right off the bat. You got to watch. Let's get to talking about using tools. Um, we have 9 or 10 or 12 cutters, a loose track, that fit on carbide tip tools. And they all have a different shape for a different purpose. And most of them are really nifty to work with. We have these in right now, and that's called a smash diamond. It's a diamond shaped cutter. But it's got a unique, some unique prospects to it. You see this? Now, that's a really sharp point out there. When I originally ordered them, I didn't want the sharp, sharp point. I sent the sample and I gave them a sketch. Well, the first one they turned me back came back with a really sharp corner. It was pretty nice aggressive as all get out. And I mean, you put it up there and jug it into that piece of wood, it's going to do some cutting. Probably a little breaking on you. But, you don't really need to jug it in there to make it work. So, let me show you something. If you're working on, say, Freedom Pens. Freedom Pens. That's a program where you turn pens for our troops as a thank you for what they're doing for our our freedom. That's why it's called Freedom Pens. All these folks just don't go play Army on the weekends. They're actually out there doing Army on the weekends. And a couple of times a year they travel to the sand and back and you know it's not always fun. But then we have them all over the place. Some aircraft carrier just asked for 5,000. Why 5,000? What the hell are you going to do with 5,000 pens? I came back. I got 5,000 troops. You tell me who's the most important. Eh, well, you got me there. So, Joe Kelly, who runs our program, is buckling down and he's turning 5,000 pens for this battery ship, for this uh, aircraft carrier. If the other guys find out about it, we're going to be out there making pens forever. And if you don't get involved, we'll never make it. So, first, get involved. It's Freedom Pens. Now, to show you, we're going to do this cutter. I keep getting asked. I've got this little cutter. What do I do with it? Are you holding your finger? No, that's not good. All right. You take a 3 8 inch square bar. This is one of our 3 8 inch squares. See it? And you remove the screw because all the bars come with with the set screw. So you remove the screw. You tell I don't want to drop this. It's a nervous moment. And I take this diamond
the rain in there. You see what I got? That's the diamond cutter. A squash uh, on a three-eighths inch bar. It is ready to cut. So we are all playing the same game. This is a piece of real old mahogany. <clears throat> this tree's cut down or made into a handrail 33, 34 years ago. So it's fairly dry. I'm going to take my cutter in my bar. Now, let me explain something to you. I drilled and tapped this bar for a 632 piece. Then I recessed the top of the hole with about a 3 16 down about an eighth of an inch. Why? Because that screw had a shoulder on it and it would bump into the, into the, the piece and not let it go. Now, if you see my competition out there, they got a whole line of tools like this and they charge you about $45. This is mild steel. Mild steel. Drilled and tapped to fit probably six different cutters on there. So that's what we got. Now, I have this piece chucked up. I'm going to put a little, little decoration on it. I'm going to start with from AWD. Is a beading tool. I want to make this a little bit cleaner, a little clearer. I'm going to take this tool and go right next to it. And that's a perfect little bead. Okay, you need to see this better. All right. See that little bead? Perfect little bead. Easy to cut. No math. No working it out. That could be the connection between the top of a, bo a box and the bottom of a box. Uh-huh. That could be the, the difference from the two woods. Uh-huh. There's a whole lot of things you can do with this. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say, wow, I did that, and that was easy. Now, before you get all, wait, there's that, where'd it go? That thing that says subscribe was right here, just a moment ago. Okay, it's, oh, it's outside the screen. That's where it's at, it says subscribe. You don't have to put all that private information. Put your email address and you get the details. Oh, but wait, maybe I'm not supposed to tell you that. Alright, well, we have this. I didn't even bother putting a handle on it. I will now. I'll put a handle on it. I'd also like to clean it up a little bit, take a little bump off the bottom, and things like that, just to style it out a little bit, just so it's prettier. Then I'll put it in my tool rack. Now, the other one we used today was this. Take a look at that. That's one of Dave at D Way to here. Let's see if I can get this right. D Way Tools. That's where you're going to get this at. He's got a couple of different sizes of them, and it's a beading tool. Now he's also got small gouges. Um, what I got the kid over here. Uh, a parting tool bowl gouge, a couple of detail gouges. He's got a bunch of things. I'm looking for here it is. That's his little 5 8 inch bowl gouge. Now that is one sweet little baby. Why? Because I don't like those big, 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 big bowl gouges. I want something I can work, take off the bits and pieces in little bitty places and not get hang-ups. That's what this one's all about. 
This is his bowl grinder. See the shape on it? Very simple to grind on your grinder. Oh, speaking about your grinder, I, wait, subscribe. It was just here. Man, all right. Speaking about grinding and shaping tools, there's a lot of people out there promoting high-speed cutting wheels and some awesome stuff in the grinder market. But it's really all nice. It really is. I mean, you have to have your options. But here's the deal, boys and girls. If you're a beginning turner, you to ask yourself a couple of questions. Do I need it sharp? Yes, you need it sharp. Do I want to grind it away and have to buy a new one? No. I got. I turn a lot of wood. I haven't in the last year, but I turn a lot of wood. I've only replaced my Ellsworth DPU bowl gouge twice in 12 years. Why? Because I ground it all the way down to the nub. But I've learned how to sharpen it since then, so I don't go crazy. Number one, I don't reshape the bowl every time because I use a black object when you set it in and, shh, and you know what the setting is and you come back to it time after time. Pretty simple. <clears throat> Should I deviate for a moment? I don't have any of those Blackhawk rigs. The target date from the doctor is Labor Day. Come Labor Day, they've taken a second set of scans, found out the big empty spot on the left hand side of my head is empty. If it filled back up with well, crap, I got a problem. But at that point, I'll go back to making a Blackhawk rig. The base, the arm, the whole works. And it will go back on sale for a lot less than my competition has. It. A lot less. So, but I gotta gear up to do that. Now, what was I talking about? When you sharpen, you want to set that rig up, and if you have to make a set of gauges, to set, and I'll show you when we do this, to set it for you deep gouge, and yeah, 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 yeah. I do one setting for all my gouges. All of them are sharpened to the Ellsworth 247 program. That's it. All of them. They all work differently because of the way the shape the tip is. But I don't grind one of the long, long back. Some of that you don't need. You really don't. If you've got to stand there and say, I'll show you how to modify your tools, say, just show me how to do it in the factory original. I'll get there the rest of the way by myself. Okay? But don't be throwing a lot of steel on the floor that you got to buy and replace. Doesn't get it. When we're talking about buying and replacing, I don't want you to get hung up on this. It's not buying and replacing. It's buying and giving him money. There's no replacing about it. It's a great idea. A lot of these people are my friends. And I tell them, you know, you probably got the Mercedes Benz parked out front with the wood turning license plate. That's okay. That's you and your conscience. I don't have one. I probably don't want one. But you can do most of your action with three or four tools. Just get good at those four tools. Now you do need a, a, a deep V bowl gouge. And that's going to be a 3 8 inch Ellsworth. Then you need a skew. It's going to be a 3 quarter inch and you don't want a you don't want a radius, you don't want a bump, you don't want all this stuff. Pretty straight cut. Then you're going to need a parting tool. Now you can make your own parting tool out of hacksaw blade. I got a video on how to do that. And then whatever you need to fill in the, 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 the gaps. Roughing gouge is a really good one. But you consider this, most of you guys and gals are getting into this to have a little instant gratification. I'm retired, I have a lathe, I went to a club, I drank five beers, I came home with all these pipe dreams, now what do I do? Keep the pipe dreams. But still don't believe a guy that tells you he's got that Liberty box and he's got, he gets $80 for it at the craft fairs. Who's paying him that? And why are they still running around? Let me ask you something. Is this guy with those little boxes promoting craziness? It could be. Not a good place to be. But if you get into this looking for money, you're in the wrong business at the wrong time. There's too many of us out there just like you, and we're not in it for the money. We're in it for the immediate gratification. 
instantaneous overwhelming by giving away your gifts, your work. And that's what you need to do. You turn something, if it's really cool, really unique, you put it on a shelf in a room, you put a little card next to it, and when your friends ask about it, say, I'll make one sort of like that just for you. Why did I say sort of like that? Because you don't want to say it's going to be exactly. God didn't make too many trees that look exactly all the time. I mean, it would be a pretty boring world if he did. So, you're going to go get a similar piece of wood with spalting or color or echo or whatever, and give him one, and he can be sure that he's got the only one like that. Now, he could go to the farmer's market, and they got a whole rack of monkey pod pens, and they're dyed different colors. Think about what he's got and what he's paying for it. You really don't want to go there. So, do him something unique, make him appreciate it, and then you're all right. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you. I'm telling you all about this grinding thing and how not to throw your shavings on the floor, your, 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 your grindings on the floor and have to replace them. Hey, you should check out the newsletter. <laughs> all right. I did a newsletter once a month for maybe six or eight months, ten months. And I was doing it on a Windows 8. Yes, I am that stupid. Yes. And I still have that Windows 8 sitting on my desk. Just to remind me that you can buy something that a salesman tell you is the best going. And when you get it, you're going to get home and you're going to have a few hiccups and you have bumps and you can't do this, can't do that. So I gave it up. I gave it up. I went right back to where I belong. I'm in a Mac world. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I took a class at Mac, and a guy was explaining to me how to use photographs. Because, for goodness gracious, I had a brain tumor. They didn't take the brain out, they just, I don't know what they did. Do you know what they did? All right. But, I lost my finesse, my talent for turning things out in my Mac world. So I signed up and I go back for classes. Well, once every other week I take a class over at the, at the Apple Center. Boy, did they teach you some stuff. Whoa, we! And they, they make it look like, what's the matter with you? You know how to do that? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. That's what's the matter with me. So help me out a little bit. They did. The guy says, open that one right there and we'll do a newsletter. I said, a what? He said, a newsletter. He wasn't kidding. Pages, tool, bloop, and there's a whole list of them, bloop, and there's more color, and he says, that's what you're going to use for your base of your newsletter. Wait a minute, when I was in a DOS-based unit, that wasn't available and it didn't work right. He says, yeah, but you're not in a DOS-based unit, you're in a Mac. So we played with it that day. Then I came home the next day and I started putting the newsletter back together. It's only going to be five or six pages this month. I got pictures of a guy you got to see. Bob Newsom, I believe it is. He sent me a picture of a couple of bowls he did. Bowls. B-O-W-L-S. Bowls. Hey, I'm Cajun. It's hard to get these words out. I, this bowl he did. He says, I'm doing these little pieces right now. And I'm going to step up to something larger later. I don't want to see it when he cuts it later. God, the lights are going to dim in this part of the world. But he's a great guy, bought some tools, shared a photograph. If you've got a photograph, it'll tell you right there in that newsletter what to do with it. And the newsletter, it will be available on the 2nd of September. Here's the deal. In order for you to get it and keep me safe, because I've got to be safe. can't be loosey-goosey cruisy. I have to make a PDF out of it. So you get a smaller vial, and you can save it on your computer. And you can always go back and get it, or you can just pick the pieces you want and print the pieces you want. This this thing should be cool. Once I get all the hiccups out of it, it should be really cool. And I can do a little something each month. This month, I'm talking about how to replace your, your, your lathe. Not the lathe. No, I'm not going to tell you how to buy a 12-inch machine with all this extra swing and length. But if you don't know what to buy for a small machine, I'll help you out with that. The rest of the time, it's going to be your wallet, your bankroll, your dealing with management. Then you'll be all right. Just as long as you know. When you croak, she's going to sell it for dirt. She's going to let it go real cheap. 
So be honest with her in the beginning and tell her what it's worth and keep it up to date. You know, have the photographs and all in the back so she can sell it. <clears throat> We've gotten some great deals off that in the past. I mean, some really great deals. I think the one way I'm landed against was sold by a guy. Johnny went and got it, loaded it up, brought it over here, we put it in the shop in 30 minutes. That was that kind of a deal. All right, so what we've touched on today is I want you to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. It's right. Damn it. I know. You know, the problem with this is that little subscribe word that pops up right here. There it is again. Uh, it's what everybody should do. And then you keep track of what's happening here. And you get access to the 243 other videos that I've produced in the past. Other videos. Including with Bombi and, and yeah, we got that one on there too. Okay. So I told you about how to take that cutter, put it on that bar, make a brand new cutter out of it. We talked about the newsletter just a minute ago, and that will be available on my website. Now, I'm going to mail a whole bunch of the recent customers because I have those names. <clears throat> but I'm going to put them on the front page of my newsletter. Down at the bottom, it says newsletters. And we'll have September 1st, 19. 41. Oh, September 1st, 2015. I said, that's a good date? Yeah, that'll work. All right. And then you click on that and you go to it. That's where it'll always be. But you can download it from there and store it on your computer, be a laptop or your pocket or whatever you have. And uh, I think, that, oh, I reminded you that if you want to get involved with Freedom Bands, you give me a, you drop me a note. Include your phone number, because Sergeant Joe Kelly will call you and talk to you about it. See what you need and see what you do. Ah! Man, I'm talking to you, and I can see it over here on the side, that little subscribe thing pops in. I don't know where it is on your computer, but I don't know where it's on mine. Playing safe. All right, so we'll cover that. When we get back together in October, we'll have a whole new game plan of items on the, on the Internet, which I've got a month now to work on. And between now and then, each week, I will post a video, just like this one, this right here, this video, to show you tips, tricks, hints, ideas, and things like that. So why don't you do that? Join us for a whole lot of fun with Wood Journey. I get absolutely nothing. I don't have any advertisement in the newsletter. I don't, really? Advertisement in the newsletter. never really thought about that. I'd have to consider that would make you sort of a silent partner. Can you keep your mouth shut? You know, if I do that, would you tell others? I don't want you to. But just in case there's something in there. Yeah, that's all I'm looking for. Yeah, we're, we're okay, right? We're okay. So we'll do all that each month right here on Making Shavings. I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. You be good. You take care. And hey, there it is. Go to that subscribe standard and lock in. All right, you take care. Be good. Ha! Gotcha. Where'd you go? Where'd you, go? you were here a minute ago. Well, that's one thing about those moving figures. Can't keep track of them.